All right, with number one, goal is just keep seeing where you can get to. Um, really important thing, when you finally reach a speed where it's getting pretty tough, I would start going up in one BPM increments instead of the five. So definitely very helpful when I do that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, just when you finally reach a speed, like, yep, this is getting to be a real big pain in the butt, just go up in ones. But uh, here we go, demonstration time. All right, one, two, three, four. One hundred, one, two, three, four. One forty, one, two, one, two, three, four. One eighty, <coughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll stop there. All right, number two. Yep, working on ascending the pentatonic scales two strings at a time. So yeah, whatever speed works for you, just set it to that and go through it. Let's um. Play this at uh, 60 BPM to start. Whoops, I picked the wrong number. All right, there we go. And make sure this is not too loud. Uh, whoops. Let's see how that goes. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get rid of that bottom panel. Sounds like it might be too loud anyway. There we go. All right. One, two, three. At 80%. That puts us at 96 BPM. Let's try it there.
to try it at the 120 BPM. But remember, whatever speed you need it to be, work on work on that speed. <laughs> Um, theory. We didn't start any yesterday, but I got one ready for you uh, for you to work on. So same thing that we've been doing, just a little different approach. Uh, this time we'll be starting up high, using some uh, instead of doing the power chord thing here, we're going to use some dyad shapes. Starting with the Lydian, we'll have that sharp four in there. So yeah, just do the whole copy and paste thing, change the intervals as you go, just like you did with the last thing. <clears throat> and uh, that is that. All right, any questions come up, let me know. I will see you again next week.